Hello everyone, I wanted to make a quick video about um, the settings on the FT991A for both WSJTX and Ham Radio Deluxe and the CW um, suite that's offered with that Ham Radio Deluxe software. Um, so let's get started here. Got my radio up. Uh, this is for WSJTX and for Ham Radio Deluxe. You're going to use a setting for both. Okay, so number 31, you go to the menu. If you don't already know how to do that, just menu button. 31 is going to be 3,800, 400, I'm sorry, 38,400 BPS, which I already have it set to. Um, 32 is going to be 100 milliseconds, and 33 is going to be disabled. Now for WSJTX, we're going to go down to 60. Uh, we're going to make sure that our PC King is off. 62 is going to be others. 64 is 1500, as well as 65. Number 70 data in is going to be rear. 71 is DACI. I don't know what that stands for, um, but that's what it is, and it works. 72 is going to be upper sideband, or USB, data port selects USB, not upper sideband. 76, DA key Y again, 77 is going to be data, 79 is 1200, <clears throat> then all the way down to 106. Okay, so it's going to be mic, single sideband, mic select is going to be mic, <clears throat> Number 108, it's going to be RTS. Where is it? And number 109 is going to be USB again. <clears throat> so, yeah, sorry. Prior to the video, I already had it set up for this, so uh, let's launch WSJTX. Okay, so I just launched it. Um, let me go into my um, settings here so you can see what else I have. <clears throat> so this screen is very important. Um, there's numerous videos on YouTube about this and they all kind of have different settings, but I made it work with this and this is what I use. And it works well, so hopefully it works for you. Okay, the radio, obviously 991A. Um, your COM port will be depending on which, um, there's numerous videos about this, um, but it's going to be COM4 for me. 38400, that's the setting that we um, selected earlier, if you remember, one of the first uh, settings. Okay, data bits is default, stop bits is default, handshake is none, push to talk method is going to be cat, which was one of the settings that we adjusted, I think. Um, COM4, um, data packet, split operations, none. We're not going to be doing that. And then you can test it with here. See, and it becomes green, so it works. And then, um, yeah, push to talk to transmit will make my radio start to transmit. Okay, audio. This is overlooked. Um, you need to make sure that the audio codec that you install with 991A um, is put into this field right here. So the input is microphone in. It's going to be create this USB audio codec, which you're going to use for your inputs and outputs for both Ham Radio Deluxe and WSJTX. Okay, so these are really the main settings I have. Um, you might want to look at these check boxes here. I'm not sure. Um, I've compiled this over watching a few videos on YouTube, and this is the settings I use, and doing very well with it. Okay, so as you can see, this works. Um, I've I could respond if I want to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to move on to Ham Radio Deluxe. All right, got my screen back. <clears throat> okay, now this is where we're into changes. So remember the first three settings up here, they're going to stay the same. Okay, so we're going to hit the menu button. Now we're going to switch over to the Hamburger Deluxe portion. It's 
Let's go back down to 60. Okay, PC King is going to be set to DTR. That's what we're going to be using to um, force your uh, 991A to key up whatever you type in for the text for the Morse code. All right, 62 will be others. It'll stay the same. And then 64 and 65 have the same settings almost, except for 65 is going to be 1100. I don't know why, but if it works, I'm not going to question it. i seen a video that's showing it. Don't have any answers for you about the technical know-how about that, but this is what works. 70. Put that to rear. Wait. Oh, wrong one. 71's RTS. Go back to... It's already on rear. Okay. 72's USB. 74 is mic. Again, a lot of these settings are going to be the same. DA key Y is going to be DTR. 77 is going to be data. And then we're going to jump down to 106. <coughs> Mike. 108 is going to be DTR. 109 is going to be data. And those are the settings for the 991A for um, Hey Radio Deluxe. So let's fire it up. Okay, yeah, this video was mostly f for this aspect of Ham Radio Deluxe, the digital master section. Um, with the settings we just put into the computer here, or to our radio, um, we can now use this um, feature to um, let me go to a frequency. Okay, I went down to 7. 034. I'm in safely in 40 meters to uh, test this here. So we're just going to ask if the frequency is in use. And there we go. It works. I can type anything in here. It'll put it to Morse code. Um, <clears throat> you might want to look at some of my settings here. <clears throat> okay, so the sound card settings right here. It's going to be the same <coughs> as it was in the other program. Everything that uses the 901A is going to use this USB audio codec. So those are my settings. Uh, what other ones on here might be useful? I think, uh, yeah, push to talk. I had to check this box here. And yeah, right here, modes and IDs. Um, <coughs> enable serial com port keying. That's the thing that basically tells your radio to start keying what you have typed into the box there. So the setting here for me is COM5, which is going to be different. It's going to use COM4 to open up the program, and then COM5 is going to be used um, <coughs> to do the actual keying. And then I have DTR set. I just want to make sure um, you can look at all these settings and just match them up to mine, and it should work for you. Uh, again, I don't know why some of these things work the way they do, but um, that's all I got for you. Um, thank you very much.